Yeah, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, this is the next episode of the red board. So, this is what we are going to connect. Here is the transformer. And the transformer itself, we have a uh, 24024. Let me zoom. So, the yellow wires are giving 24 times 2, and that is 4.5 amperes. Eh? Then, the red is where you get the mains from. 30 volts or 220 volts and then the green one i'll use it to power the fan eh? because it is 10 volts 0 and 10 volts so what i'll need to do i need to cut these yellow wires and the black one black is ground the true yellows is 24 then 0 24 eh? so and they have a fuse eh? the red wires is where you connect the mains from the socket and you can use a masking tape you know, to shield from short circuiting. Eh? Okay. So, what I need to do, I need to measure and know how, how much voltage eh, these things are giving. There seem to be electricity. No, it isn't there. So, I can hold with bare hands. Eh? Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me find... An insulation eh? masking tape insulation I'll put it on the fingers so that I can I don't want to get electrocuted eh? so it's giving 27 volts how and it's written 24 even the other wire is uh, 27 volts oh, but we are still within the range so you can connect it where we have these uh, connectors right over here with yellows on the sides and black in the middle because black is ground yeah then moment of truth <laughs> yeah it turns on eh? i saw this one gives blue wow so let me measure and be sure if it's yeah the fan is rotating let me measure to see how much voltage is getting in eh? It is 26.7 and the other one 26.7. Yeah, so this was a 27 volt transformer, probably. So let me show you something interesting. Eh? Now you see this bridge rectifier. This one is the one used to convert AC into DC. So we are giving it 27 volts. But when it passes through the bridge rectifier, it becomes more. The DC part eh, will be around 30, 34.9, 35 volts. Look at that. Plus, that is plus 35 volts. And then the next channel will be negative something. Eh? Negative 35.1. Yeah. So if you step uh, AC into DC, the 27 volts become very around 35 volts eh, DC so if you use a bigger transformer you'll get a lot of volts eh? like 40 45 now here is where I want to tap the Bluetooth device that one giving 11.8 it's around 12 volts eh? yeah so these are the wires the power for Bluetooth device you can solder and take note of the where positive and negative sides are eh? otherwise it may get damaged so you turn on, yeah, it's turning on perfectly. So what we need to do next is uh, plug wires for the signal. Eh? Now these people who keep asking me, how do you connect Bluetooth device to the, here is the part for you. Eh? So we have ground and two left and right. Eh? Left and right is for the signal. Now, the one I'm holding right now, this is the ground, eh? these two, they are just common grounds. Then, the inside part of this RCA is where we have the right channel. Eh? You can see the multimeter there showing continuity. Yeah, this is the point where I'm holding the red probe. This is the right, and now the left channel, yeah, it is this one, where I'm holding the, the red probe of the multimeter. Yeah, so you only need to connect left, right, and then the ground. 
on the Bluetooth device you will find it indicated so you plug it the red wire this is for the antenna you know the FM eh? this FM written over there that is the antenna and don't shoot it with the ground eh? so we we'll have left ground in the middle and then right eh? yeah they are written there you just have to see them so the right you connect it there and then left you connect it this other part and then the middle one the ground you can choose to connect it here and then that's all so i remove this rca connector and use it elsewhere then you can connect now the wires you solder the three of them eh? so that is the right is the left and then the ground something like this and then you are ready to power on your Bluetooth device. You can see it's working. So now I need speakers to connect to this uh, board. Now I have two Sony Explos here, although they are not new. And then for subwoofer, I really wanted to use this Pioneer Champion series. Eh? But instead, I'll use the 10 inch. Eh? You see, this board is having a lot of controversies. Eh? Like, look here, we have the. This resistor is just off, it's just broken. I realized it later. So I had to change. It's a 33k home. And it's just broken, just like that. And remember the other day, we realized that the transistors were, I think, interchanged, exchanged, not interchanged. Eh? So again it has no relay so there is no way i'll trust eh? <laughs> i don't want to start to recoil a subwoofer because of i don't know failed transistors or such kind of things eh? this is where the resistor was you see it was soldered perfectly but it just broke itself eh? i don't know it was a factory defect so i won't use that champion series i'll test with this 10 inch eh? So let's hear how it sounds. Here is its wires. And from the look of things, distortion is taking place all over. Listen to this. My goodness. Distortion all over. Now, when you connect to Bluetooth, a lot of noise. it when it's sounding like this it's like mosquitoes eh, have held a concert inside the speakers eh. so join me in the next episode as i show you how to remove distortion in this uh, amplifier and make it very very silent yeah thank you for watching <laughs>